Well, a typical day uh, when they come in, um, I, I like, what we do is we, we maintain a classroom blog. And on that blog there is really kind of a list of what they need to get done during the first hour of the day before we go out to one of our pullouts. And what I really try to do during that time is I try, as a teacher, not to be doing direct instruction. I want kids to basically come to school, check out our website, see the kind of work they need to do, make a plan with their partner and how they're going to allocate the iPad as a resource, and then I just want them to go to work. Um, I think that mirrors the real world much more than coming in and then I direct everything they do for the first hour. It means that the kid that comes in first immediately can go to work versus the kid that might be 10 minutes late. We, we're not waiting please, for that. Please, the interruption. Jennifer, wait. This Jennifer, is a please typical contact day. the we office. Jennifer, please contact the office. Within that, um, there's typically a couple assignments that the iPad is required for. Uh, today, there's a spelling, a grammar kind of sheet that they need to work through and fill out and email that to me. Uh, today they're going to be doing a traditional, you know, you need to write your spelling words and the vocab words and definitions. But on the other side of that, they're going to be in and out of the room for the first hour because they're going to be finding quiet spots to go actually record them reading these words and reading these definitions and then emailing those to me because I think a lot of typical classrooms, we never get that part of it because it's a time-consuming process to re listen to each kid read. And yet, if they can't read them and they can't pronounce the words, then we, you know, we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot with that. Triple and budge, and then our definition: eminent means superior or prominent. Charity means a gift or to give. Um, other days, uh, this is when they will, you know, take their spelling test, their definition test. Uh, we do reading samples where they go record some of the material that we that we work on during the day where I actually get a two minute reading sample from the kids every week. So I can check for fluency and check for pronunciation and speed and stuff like that. Right, they're emailing me their spelling and grammar and their audio sample of them reading their spelling words and definitions so I can check for pronunciation. And so as they email that in, I don't have to stop class to talk about it or grade it, unless I spot something that we need to discuss as a whole, so. Yep, they're working and I'm working. <laughs> well, how did you know to just come in and start working? Did you get a direction to do that? Uh, no. Um, actually, Mr. Mitchell has this blog thing where you're supposed to go on it and look up what you're supposed to do for the morning until specials. So I noticed you guys, you came in and started working without any directions. How'd you know to do that? Well, when we go on our Mr. Mitchell's webpage, like it says assignments and it tells us what to do on the iPads. So then we, he, he tells us to read that and then we can start working and we have to be done by a certain time or something. And uh, do they know to, to um, like grab their iPads and go to the blog to see what's going on? Oh, Is yeah. that part of their routine yeah. now? Yeah, when they come in the morning, typically what happens is some of them will drop their coats off first. Some of them immediately go get their iPad because that's just, to them it's the same thing as getting a pencil, getting a notebook, getting a reading book. You know, you come in, you get your iPad, you get your binder, you get your, you know, your personal reading books, and that's what they take to the table with them. So on, on balance, if you, if you could choose between having them share and having them have their own iPads, what would you choose? Um, I think I would still have them share an iPad. I think some of the cooperative stuff that they're forced to deal with is so strong that it outweighs the, I can get more production out of them if they all have their own resource. Um, I think they tend to take care of the resource much better when it's a shared environment. Um, I think their desire to get work done is greater because you have to organize. There's just no way around it. And you know, if you happen to be with somebody who has a strong personality, then those real world skills of negotiation and process and how do we do this so that hopefully everybody ends up happy, that's so much more powerful than every kid having one. Now, would it be nice if I had one for every kid at certain times? Certainly. But there's something about having to work with other people that just, you know, that's the way the real world works.